There are a lot of reasons why I shouldn't be doing this. The person that I've been my whole life would have said, what are you gonna get out of it? For many years, I decided not to get tested because I couldn't understand the reason to be tested. I already knew I was HIV positive, and to, to see it in writing would just be more painful. But a friend of mine told me that they had this new medicine called AZT, and it was one of the first or maybe the first medicine to hit the market that seemed to have some results. It, supposedly, it could prolong your life a year or a few years. And so he said, you're crazy not to get tested if you want to live a few more years longer. And, and it made sense. I remember so clearly as I was driving down Dolores Avenue in San Francisco on my way to the clinic, I felt doomed. And then a ray of sunshine came through my sunroof and I, I felt a, a feeling of peace and comfort. And then I heard a voice. And it wasn't a voice with my ears or anything like that. It was, it was more like mental telepathy. It came, it came from the center of my being, just this, this, this understanding. But I heard it in words. And, and the words said, Paul, you do not have AIDS because you have too much to do to make up for the way you have been living. And in an instant, from wherever it came, I knew that those words were true. And as they called my number and I sat in front of the doctor, he opened up the envelope and it was like magical. I looked at his lips and I could see them move what seemed to be like in slow motion as he said, you are negative. And I knew I had just been given a pardon from death. It was the most wonderful feeling in the world. And 